Hey everybody. It's about nine. Hold on, let me check the time here. Cause I got fifteen minutes. It's about nine thirty-eight. And you know, folks, yesterday I briefly mentioned at the end of my video where I talked about movies that were coming out to well, I mean, now it'll be re-released to 3D. Yesterday, I kind of briefly mentioned that some of the move that movies that I kind of mentioned at the end about movies you could get, basically the newer movies you can get for a lot cheaper than you expect. Yeah, you know, it's no lie, folks. It's, it's no lie. A lot cheaper than you expect. Um, basically, what I'm saying is that there are there is a way. Several ways, actually. One of the most common ways sometimes is to go online through a place like Mega Upload Form and a site like Mega Upload or a torrent or whatever. And this, and let me remind you, this is after the official release, or maybe a week or so before they're officially released onto DVD and Blu ray and um, uh, on demand, whatever. Uh, but basically, that is one of the ways you can get some of the most anticipated and popular movies. Another way, ladies and gentlemen, that you can get them is through a thing called DVD Fab or whatever kind of DVD copying, DVD Blu-ray copying uh, software you have. You just got to make sure that the DVDs are copyable, because sometimes the DVDs or the Blu-rays will not be copyable. They'll actually be a little protected. I mean, there have been several incidences where that's happened to me. Uh, for example, Iron Man 2, I tried to DVD fab that, did not happen because apparently Paramount has some kind of uh, uh, protection on it. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same for Dinner for Schmucks, which I'm going to try to DVD fab later. But that seems to be the case with um, Iron Man 2. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now, but there is a third option, and perhaps it's one of the most logical, and some people would say maybe more legal options. Not saying the other two aren't legal, because they are, as long as you don't sell them. You don't say, oh, this is my movie. I could sell many copies of this and that and this and that and this and that and make a profit. No, you can't do that. You can give them away as gifts, but don't sell them. That's my that's my option. That's the way I look at it. So to me, that's not making it illegal. You know, as long as you don't sell them, that's illegal. But if you don't, and you just give them out as gifts, that's fine too. But there is another way, a cheaper way. Now we all know in the past few months, since about September or August, that many superhero movies have been hitting um, DVD and Blu-ray. And many of these have been very popular. Some of these have been kind of hits and misses. But they have been some, of, according to some critics, have been some of the best superhero movies they have seen this year. Well, so far, the only superhero movies they've seen this year. <laughs> uh, the movies I'm talking about are, of course, Green Lantern, X-Men First Class, Thor and Captain America. Oh, and just to let you know, I added Iron Man finally. I gave the Iron Man 2 movie I showed you in a uh, response video I did to Zero Nazarak's Mega Marvel uh, video. I finally gave it a cover. So, there you go. And that's just an example of doing it the torrent way. But besides that, these four right here, my friends, these four right here, on average, if you try to buy the Blu-ray, on average, cost you about maybe 15 to tw 13 to 20 bucks, basically, on average for these, for DVDs. And the reason I say that, it all depends on whether you get the gift set, a dual disc, or whatever. Basically, two, a, a two-disc set. But on average, it costs you about 13 to 20 bucks. Now, if you did the Blu-rays, the Blu-rays of these movies would cost you about 15 to 25 bucks. And again, that all depends if you're doing single, digital cop, 
uh, two disc, which is the DVD, the Blu-ray, and the digital, or three disc, which is the, uh, not three disc, but the two disc and digital copy deal, which is the DVD, Blu-ray, and a code for the digital copy. Or, if you're getting the gift set. It all depends. So on average, the Blu-rays would cost you about 15 to 25, maybe 30 bucks. But right here, the DVDs, now when I hear these movies though, I got all off on demand, and they were basically $4.99 each on standard play. Basically stating they were five bucks each. So within the span of this week, for 20 bucks, literally, Five, ten, tw 10 and 10 for 20 bucks I got the movies and that's a lot and that's pretty cheap now I know you say to yourself well if you would have gone to the Black Friday sales after Thanksgiving you probably got them that much as well maybe maybe not but for 20 bucks you can't go wrong with these movies on DVD but it all depends if you have a DVD recorder a blu-ray recorder a DVR or even a v, even if you still use it, a VCR recorder. But you see, it's not, but you see, it all depends though on your TV format. Now if you have a regular standard television, there you go. If you have HD and you prefer HD, it'll cost you about $5.99, basically $6. So you'd be looking at 12 and 12 which would be 24 bucks. So 24. Not too shabby. Right? Then again, if you have, if you prefer 3D, that's right, they have a 3D option, then I would cost you about 7 bucks. So you'd be looking at 14 and 14, and it's essentially 28 bucks. So on average, the on demand option, whether you have whether you're using a DVD recorder, Blu-ray recorder, or VCR recorder, or even just DVR in it, on average, you'd be paying for, on average, what you'd be paying, like I say, 13 to 20 to 25 dollars worth of DVDs, or 15 to 25 to 30 dollars worth on Blu-rays, on average, for 20 to 28 dollars, you'd be paying for this. You'd be getting those same four movies for this. Because think about it. On average, if you just got, let's say, a single disc, 13, 13, 26, too. If they cost both $13, 13, 13, 26, and then you had another 26, you wanted to get the other two, on average, you'd be looking at $52. Now, let's say you went the 20 route, you'd be looking at $80. And of course, you went 25, you'd be looking at 100. The 30, well, 120. You get what I'm saying? But on average, you look between the 15, the 13, between the price ranges of 13 to 30 bucks. And that's counting D DVD sale, DVD versions, and Blu ray versions. If you were to get these, buy these four all together at the same time at a store, they would cost you, like I say, on average of $52 to $120 just to buy these in the stores. And that's through DVDs or even Blu-rays. $15 they would cost, basically it would cost you 52 to 22, 52 to 120 dollars on average, and that's no lie. I mean, I'm not the best at best. I'm not the best when it comes to math, but this I know. So on average, when you put, so on average, you could actually be saving a lot of money. On average, my friends. You could be saving so much. I mean, think about this. Would you rather be 
paying $120 for all four of these, depending on the format, HD, Blu-ray or Blu-ray 3D, whatever? Or would you rather be paying $28 for 3D? Or would you put the 3D versions of these if you had, like, say, a recorder? Or would you rather be paying 20 bucks for just regular standard play? Or even 24 for HD? You see, my friends, it all depends on what you're choosing. And the best, cheapest route to go is this route, if you can't really go out and afford to buy it in person. Because technically, when you think about it, Technically, when you think about it, you are actually buying the movie, but you're not going to a store and buying it. You're buying it at home. That's what you're doing. You're buying it at home. And finding the covers online is as easy as Googling them. All you have to do is say, Green Lantern, 2011 DVD cover, or Blu-ray cover, or Captain America, or Captain America, or Thor, or X-Men. And on, in about... 85% of the time you'll get the you'll get the actual cover so basically what I'm saying folks is that right there on title you can see it MOD the movies on demand are a cheaper way to go a cheaper way to buy and own movies or a cheaper way to own movies the MOD movies on demand are a cheaper way to own movies Especially, and you see it in the description box, if you have a DVD recorder, Blu-ray recorder, or DVR, or even a VCR recorder. And you know it's true, folks. You know it's true. So, that's all I'm going to say. Comment down below if you agree with me, and I'll talk to you all later.